Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to your EZWP Namecheap hosting. And um, um, there are several methods to do it, but I'm going to show you which is the quickest and uh, from my perspective, it will be the easiest one uh, for beginners. Uh, okay, so I will show you both methods, uh, two most easy methods. Okay, for that, um, for first you have to log into both uh, EasyWP site, Namecheap, and GoDaddy. So once you have logged in, uh, go to All Products. You can do so by clicking here. Click on this drop down menu, uh, drop down option, and from here go to My Products. Okay, now here it will list all the products connected to your account. So from here, select the domain uh, you want to point to your EZWP uh, uh, website. Click on DNS. Okay. And here, okay, just now leave it. Now let's go to EZWP and uh, select your website. And from here, um, scroll down. And uh, in the website section, here click on change domain. Okay, currently it is showing that um, let's it's on the temporary domain. Uh, let's select domain on another provider. Okay, and here type your domain name. So my domain name is bestwpcats.com. So I will just copy and paste it here, and then that's it and then what you have to do is copy this record okay just click on this option copy and once you have copied it you will have to go to namecheap's website uh this is, i will provide a link to this page in the description so you can find the link from there okay and then press ctrl f on your keyboard and search paste it here and press enter okay search for it so it will automatically search uh, what it will be different for every website. So um, just make sure that you do not just search for this domain, um, whatever is provided, uh, copy it and then search it here. Okay. And then you will see uh, on the right side that it points to two IP addresses. So we will need to copy this. Um, let's copy it and here add a new record. Click on add select a and then um, host in host type at the rate and then uh, paste your ip here okay and um, then click on save and similarly copy the next ip um, you have to copy only the ip which is um, you know, corresponding to your the subdomain um, then again let's add a new record select a uh, paste in host put at the rate and in points to put the IP make sure there are no spaces extra spaces and then click on save and similarly uh, create a new record yes okay select C name then in host um, put www dot okay and here points to this IP okay put at the rate okay i think it is not working because i already have a record here okay so since i already have this record um, i'm creating a duplicate record and it's not working so if you already have a record you do not need to add this but if you don't have you will need to add this and um, you will not see this error. so i will simply press the cancel now okay so we need this three um three records mainly this aa and this uh, c name record www dot okay and the rest of the records you will have to de delete them okay so to delete a record what you have to do is click on this pencil icon and here you will see now this option of deleting this record okay for example, I will show you by deleting this record, C name record, and adding it again. So just uh, click on this option, delete, and then confirm delete. Okay, so it has been deleted. And similarly, you will have to delete all the rest of the records. Okay, 
and just keep three records so i will add the, again the c name record and this time you will see that um, it will work okay you see there was no error this time because um, we deleted the record and created so right now we need this three records only and you can delete uh, rest of the records but i would recommend you to take a uh, you know screenshot or some picture or something just to make sure that if something goes wrong you can reverse your actions okay and this is the first method and this process will take a few hours and once it uh, the record starts working properly what you have to do is click on this option check domain let's check your domain is not pointing to this can take few hours feel free to close this window and come back later okay so this will take a while for the process to complete so you will have to keep checking just click on check domain um, you know after like 30 minutes or so and then uh, once it uh, shows that the domain is successfully pointing to ecwp you can click on this option change and that's it uh, now your domain will be pointing to your ecwp website okay so that's how simple it is so i hope you guys found this tutorial useful and um, if you did so please press the like button and leave your feedback in the comments and if you want other method if this method is not working for you for any reason you can post in the comments and um, i will also create video on the next method but i picked this method because i thought this was the easiest to follow and um, it will take uh, very few hours to reflect the changes uh, compared to the other methods which uses the free dns but um, that was a little more complicated so i didn't uh, chose to you know use that option and um, so please leave um, you know subscribe for more such useful videos and i will see you in the next video